Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are doing number 53 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. This one is called the Relocation Spread. It is a five card spread for when you are facing relocation, whether because of work or some other reason that is forcing you to move to a new place. This is going to be using the full 78 card deck, and I will be using the Darkwood Tarot to give a demonstration of this spread. So we're going to get right into it. So this five card spread ends up just putting all five in a line, where card one represents, card one answers the question, is there any positive way to avoid this relocation? Is there a way to do something about this so that I don't have to go? Card number two, what are the drawbacks of this relocation? Can they be avoided or mitigated? Card number three, what are the benefits of this relocation? Card number four, what can you not compromise on about the future location, about where you are moving to? And card number five, what can you compromise on? So we're going to shuffle the deck and see what the Darkwood has to tell us. Okay, card one, two, three, four, five. That is a lot of reversals. So card number one, is there any positive way to avoid this relocation? We have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a card of beginnings, specifically of emotional journeys, of gaining some new form of understanding. Seeing this, I don't think that there is a positive way to avoid this relocation, but there are ways to make it positive based on how you choose to frame it. You can frame it as you are being forced to move or as you have the opportunity to move. That might seem like a very small change, but internally it makes a huge difference on how you feel about it. Card number two is the 10 of cups reversed. This answers the question of what are the drawbacks and are there ways to mitigate them? So the Ten of Cups is typically a card of completion. When your home is settled and you've got your family all set and you're looking at enduring happiness. Being reversed, you're not there yet. It feels like this relocation is pulling you further away from that dream, from that desire of having a settled home life. There doesn't really seem to be a way to avoid that at the moment because that is an internal feeling. Card number three is the Page of Pentacles reversed. It depicts a woman holding a pentacle in her hand. She typically represents someone who can see what is in front of her. She sees the resources and knows how to best use them to further her goals. In this case, being reversed you're missing something. There are positives to this. You're just not seeing them. Look deeper. Look at how things are connected. There are going to be benefits of this relocation that are not immediately apparent. They're still there though. Give yourself a little grace. Give yourself a little time. Try to step away from the quick emotional responses and see what is underneath them. Card number four is the Six of Wands. It's answering the question, what can I not compromise on in this relocation? If you look at this image, the women on the horses are ethereal. They are insubstantial. The child in the woman's arms is the only thing that looks alive. You cannot compromise on your children. You cannot compromise on the future as part of this move. And I use the word children to be a bit more broad because that could be your pets. That could be, that could be someone you are responsible for, whether they are your child or not. 
they can be chosen family. As part of this relocation, you cannot let go of those strong familial bonds that you have with others. Card number five, what can you compromise on? We have the card of justice reversed. Upright justice is about seeing the truth of things. It's about making the proper decision because you can see the truth. When reversed, instead of being the woman who has her eyes open, you are one of the blindfolded figures. You are so focused on your own interpretation of events that you're not seeing the reality. That is what you have to compromise. That is what you have to let go of. Let go of your own self-aggrandizing story. Stop victimizing yourself in your own mind. Yeah, you don't want to move. You're comfortable where you are. But there are opportunities in this relocation if you choose to look for them. If you allow yourself to take the blindfold off. That being said, we have reached the end of our five card spread here of the relocation spread. Do you agree with my interpretations of these cards? Do you disagree? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Are there other decks you would like me to use? Let me know. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified anytime I upload another video. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.